I woke up this morning, so it must be a good day. And the sun is shining. Yay! I hope this day is going to be a good one. The last three have not, lucratively speaking. Yeah, something's got to happen. Something has got to happen and change. Something has to change. Good in, bad out. I keep trying to tell myself that. Good morning, guys. It is a good day. I woke up and got out of bed, so that's that's the first thing. If that doesn't happen, if, if you're unable to, if, if you wake up dead, then pretty much your day's ruined, right? So, so far, <laughs> it's okay. It's sunny outside, so there's another bonus. It's a little windy, a little breezy, that's okay. The customer that brought me my dog, that gave me Buffy, um, it was funny because that was actually a mobile appointment that she had set up for her daughter that her daughter didn't show up to. So I ended up, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I ended up like not working on any car and I got a dog. So instead of getting money for the appointment and everything, I had to go out and spend money on, on the dog. So that same person since then has missed an appointment and then I got kind of nasty and said, hey, this is how I live. You, you, you can't do this if you set an, an appointment so I make sure that I have time to work on your car, <laughs> then you have to be there because this is how I make my money. This is how I live. It's kind of like me calling in sick for the day and not getting paid for it. And that cloud is moving really fast. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a very fast moving cloud. Wow. Okay, so anyway, I digress. Um, so anyway, the same customer today, um, they were supposed to be here at a certain time. They called me an hour before they were supposed to be here, so at least they did that. And then they said if they could push the appointment back a little bit. And I'm like, a little bit? Well, how long? Like five hours, four hours maybe. 11, 12, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, so four hours. Because their daughter has fibromyalgia. I, I know what it is, and I'm not downplaying it. It's just, and you didn't know this ahead of time. You just found out. I know, I'm, I'm venting. Thank you guys for allowing me to vent. I really appreciate that. Um, but something has to change. Uh, something really, really has to change. Because I can't do this. I, I can't. I'm always going to lose. I'm not saying that to be negative. I'm just saying that if I have an appointment, great. Then I make, I make money for that time. But people aren't going to... I, I can't work on two things at the same time. So if somebody doesn't show up or if somebody cancels, I will always lose. You see what I'm saying? I can't make up for that. I can't make up for that time. So something has to change. In the meantime, I want to say thank you to Marcus Hals for posting the uh, trailer to the new Ghostbusters in the Hillmouth Hellion page. I appreciate you doing that, and and I looked at it, and you guys know me, I, I love Ghostbusters, and I've been kind of opposed to this this reboot and this whole female cast, and then I saw the picture of uh, the the new Ecto-1 the other day, and I'm like, what the hell, that's garbage. But, 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 I did watch the trailer. I was apprehensive at first. I, I sat down, I watched it. And I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised. It looks like a good movie. I don't know what they're going to call it, though. I'm not sure. Are they calling it just Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters? Are they calling it the reboot? What, what the hell are they calling it? I don't know. So far, I like the new special effects that they've gone or that they've done. Um, the whole thing is extremely vibrant as far as the way that it's filmed. It's not a dark, dusty, faded, you, you know, like 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 an older movie would be. Um, so I don't, know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see this summer when it comes out. This may not look weird to you guys. This may look like a dog in my house, which is normal. However, this is anything but normal because she was outside. I had her in the backyard. I went around the outside of the house and came back in the front of the house in my course of doing things. I'm getting a lawnmower ready for uh, its first cut of the year. And uh, apparently she has figured out 
how to open this screen door. I have to catch you in the act. I do. But, okay. Anyway, uh, my grass obviously is on crack. It needs to be cut before tomorrow because it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. I have to change the oil in the lawnmower because that's just what you do. If you don't want to have to buy a new lawnmower, you have to upkeep the old one, which takes a little bit of time and a little bit of money, but not as much time and money as it would take to buy a new one. So, if Troy wants his grass cut, <laughs> well, first of all, Troy has to do it him damn self, his damn self, whatever. Okay, we got Earl. I hope this is enough. If it's not enough, I will get more. For all of those who said that they had to pee before they sat down to watch the vlog, I apologize. Gotta go now, don't ya? With the mold and the rust, wow, that looks like poo-poo. Oh well, yeah, yeah well. All right, such is life. I, I guess that uh, we just roll with it and hope that the, uh, the mower deck holds out for another year. Man, I remember my parents' lawnmower. They used to have one. They had that thing for like, oh man, I swear it was like maybe 15, at least 15 years. But of course they stored theirs in, indoors and, and I don't have that option. You don't store a lawnmower inside the house. Just not, not good for business. Not unless you want everybody inside the house to be like, hey man, I think somebody just mowed the grass, man. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. A nice mowed yard so you're not going to get lost in it. So I guess I'm not a redneck because I didn't mow a yard and find a car. Actually, I guess I am. There's a car and a dog. So I mowed my yard, found a car and a dog. So yeah, I guess I'm a, the epitome of a redneck. Buffy's outside. She's trying to get in. Buffy! I know she can do this. <laughs> Buffy, come on! Oh my goodness. Of course, I've been standing here for a lot longer than what you guys just saw. She knows how to get in here. I have to prove it. I have to prove it. All right, so Troy's laziness tonight started with two bean burritos and a Coke. It slowly progressed to Seinfeld, and then it's ended up on Two Broke Girls. Now, I have to do something else tonight because I'm in a funk. See, look, see, my face is dark right now because I'm in a funk. See? Funk. You see this? This is the face of funk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to go in circles because that's what I do when I don't know what else to do. I go in circles and look at my dog and get dizzy. Maybe get myself out of the funk. If I spin fast enough, I might be able to... No, I'm just going to get dizzy. Whoa, that'd be bad. <sighs> Alright, so I, I had plans that I had wanted to go to Little Caesars Pizza Pizza and get some jalapeno cheese bread because it was so good. Good, I'm just, I'm just drooling for it. But it's like 8.40 something, 8.41. Therefore, I will not make it there in time. And I never get food at a restaurant because they're closing because it's either gonna be old or they're gonna spit in it because they're so PO'd because they're employees and they wanna get out of there because they have jobs. So, so now I'm just kinda like in limbo. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm talking to you guys. She thinks that we're doing something or going somewhere because I started, I actually got up off the couch and I've been bouncing around because I, it, yeah, I was like a chicken with a, its head cut off. I was like, oh my gosh, I want this. I want this. I want to go get this, but it's too late. I can't get this. So I'm like going into the kitchen and coming back out here and she's like, oh, we're going somewhere. Oh boy. We're not going anywhere. Uh, once again, we find the buffet, the wild buffy in our natural habitat. And then I will knock on the window and she'll be like, oh, I get to come inside. Ah, and then I let her inside and she's happy doggy. It feels really good inside. Buffy! One thing to keep in mind is we shouldn't do it all the time. You wanna go for a ride? You wanna go to the store? 
time. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> you want to go for a ride? I'm very, very sad to say that after the TV programs of the aforementioned, um, after that came the Big Bang Theory, and after that came Two Broke Girls again. I guess I like that show. I don't know. I just sat down and watched it today. And now I've, I'm watching Conan. So apparently, Troy's been lazy today. I, I guess that's what we'll call it. Sounds good to me. Anyway, and now I want some I want some ice cream. So we're going to go to the store. And we're going to get some ice cream. And then I'll edit. And then we'll do cock. And then we'll go to bed. And we'll hopefully not repeat this day tomorrow. Except for the getting up part again. See? See how I did that? I tied in the beginning of the vlog with the end of the vlog. Man. You'd almost think that I've been doing this for a while. See? Whenever I go shopping late at night... You know, when all the freaks and everything come out, I always want to go to where I'm safe. So that's why I always come to Safeway. Because it just feels safe here. Alright guys, it is way too late. I should not be doing COC right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. Congratulations to Capazone 2, you were first. And you say, yay to comment war winner on thurs Thirsty Thursday. Why is it Thirsty Thursday? Did you not drink enough last night? <laughs> I don't know. Matthew Rondell, can you put Bob Ross in on the intro? No. No. Bob Ross is only for Bob Ross looking trees. Capazone 2, I see that you still have the hearse. When are you going to finish it? Um, it's almost done. It's almost done. No huge rush. Uh, Whirly Bird Productions, uh, Adam Owens, I was watching the video from four years ago where you ate the worm. Do you still have that outro? No. No, I do not. Baldy Jack, Troy should do some Throwback Thursday stories. Stories of what? Yard of Terror, Kentucky. Oh my god, I love the roller coaster. I'm a huge theme park and roller coaster fan. Just had a friend donate his Connects figure eight roller coaster to me. Um, it's not that hard, and you could probably finish it in only a couple hours. It's pretty easy as long as you're good at putting things together. Travis Williams, how big is your Halloween props going to be this year? Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm doing this year yet, so I really can't answer that question. Tony Fredrickson, do you play any musical instruments? Um, I used to play the drum. Yes, the single snare drum. In elementary school. James Wrangle vlogs. Troy, have you ever thought of having an actor outside of your haunt sliding? Well, they call them sliders. And no, not for my home haunt. Absolutely not. Because it, they'd be in the street. And I don't, I want to keep everybody out of the street because it gets really busy. Alan, how, with all the stuff going on, are you thinking you'll still do your haunt this year? Um, possibly. I don't know. I, I really don't know, and I really can't answer that question. We requested your address via Facebook, but it doesn't look like we got a response. We would like to send you something special for the haunt. Oh, well, what you need to do is scroll down right here underneath the video. See where it says show more? You need to click on show more. And then when you go down, it'll tell you, you know, when the video was published and the GoFundMe for Phoenix and, you know, season six vlogs and our Patreon. And right here is the mailing address. Then underneath that is all the merchandise, followed by who did our intro, and our website, our Facebook, our Hellmouth Hellions uh, group page, the Haunt Steps Projects and Tutorials group page, Twitter, YouNow, Snapchat, Periscope, Instagram, Vine, and our other channels, including Troy's Fun Stuff and Mechanic Minute. Now, for all of you who said, I never knew this stuff was here, I tell you about it all the time. There's lots of cool shit there. You just need to go and take a look. I keep telling you, take a look. It's down there. Everything you need to know is down there. You just have to click more. Emerald Gypsy Heart asks, where did you get the metal frame for your covered driveway or did you build it? I built it and that was uh, completely fabricated from scratch. I bent the tubing, I cut the tubing, I welded the tubing, and I drilled the holes in the concrete and I put lag bolts in and yeah it was all me I did that and final comment of the night Liz M we missed trash on Tuesday I've had the near miss a few times I know the panic I know because we're like paying for trash and then we go and we forget the trash and then it's like Sarah Cynthia Sylvia, Sylvia Stout I'm trying to take the garbage out but it's full <laughs> alright guys happy haunting gotta get to bed edit this see you guys tomorrow bye Happy haunting.